Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we have a very exciting haul. Just look at the size of this freaking box. I can't even show it on cam without taking my camera out of the tripod. It's huge. I'm very, very excited. Um, I will go ahead and get into the box and tell you exactly where I got it from. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, well, I mean, if you know the infamous green packaging, you know that this is a haul from Bai. I will say, just off the bat, this is not sponsored by Bai. I bought all of this with my own money, didn't have any coupons, wish I did have coupons. However, I will say I ordered from Bai because recently, I think at the beginning of the year, they decreased the amount of fees that they have on their website. So right now, it used to be like a 500 yen fee, and then you would also have a package consolidation fee, but they recently lowered their purchasing fee to 300 yen. So it was like previously a purchasing fee and like a service fee combined to make 500 yen, but now it's just 300 yen per item that you purchase. And then there's no package consolidation fee anymore. So that was really nice. But again, this is not sponsored. However, buy like, if you would like to sponsor me, I would not say no. So like hit me up if you see this video. Um, besides from that though, this is a very big haul. Like I think this is probably my biggest haul in quite a while from Mercari. I'm very excited. I kind of went overboard. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Yeah. I'm just gonna pull all of these off screen and then just go through them one by one because I feel like that makes the most sense to me. So let's just do that. So first of all, the first item that I want to go through is this box. I don't know why they sent me the box. I have a feeling I know what's in this package. So most of this haul is K-pop. There are some other like stationary things and like a couple of extra items that I really wanted that are not K-pop related, but let's see what is in this box. In this box, we just have some pocket pages. So these are one pocket pages and these are actually going to go along with another item in my haul. So I will kind of get into this later, but they're just one pocket pages from a Japanese brand. I thought I bought four. Did I only buy three? I guess I only bought three sets, but they're three sets of 10 one pocket pages. Not the most exciting start to this haul. So this is actually like perfect timing because this is the item that I was going to talk about with the pocket pages. So they packaged this very, very well. Um, but basically what this is, is this is a Muji 30 ring binder, I think is what it's called. Basically it has a whole bunch of these rings and these, um, I don't exactly know why it's like this, but it, I just bought this. It's A4 sized, so I bought this because what I want to do in the future, probably in like a future video in the next couple weeks, what I want to do is I want to take all of my fansign pages out of the fansign albums and then put them into these one pocket pages and create kind of like a fansign page binder so that it just... because. All of my fansign albums take up a lot of space and I feel like if I just have them all in one spot, like it, number one, it'll be easier for me to flip through and just like reminisce on the fan signs and blah, 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 blah. Like, so I only bought three packs of these, even though I have like way more fan signs that I would need. So this is just like my first order. I'm probably going to do another buy haul pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so Muji binder, one pocket pages. I promise that there is K-pop in this, but we just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> I promise there is K-pop. There's just a lot of other stuff too. I kind of went crazy. So what this is, is a little Pop Mart. It's like one of those blind bag um, packages things. And it's a Care Bear keychain. One of my friends has some of these and I just love them so much. They are so cute. So I bought this Tender Heart Bear is one of my faves, not only because it's orange, but it's they're just so cute. So 
yeah look how cute it is i kind of have an obsession with these cute little fuzzy little keychains so yeah we just have tender heart bear first of all because <laughs> most of the rest of these items are uh photo cards i promise <laughs> okay so we're gonna get into green envelopes now so make sure that i am not going to hit anything Ooh, it's a mystery. All right, let's see who is in here. So it is some Sector 17 cards. I have a feeling I know who it is. It's either going to be Jong-An or June. I bought both of their Sector 17 sets. So it is Jong-An, yay! Oh my goodness. So here we have his yellow version set. Honestly, I forget what the yellow version is called. Is it New Beginning or something? New Horizons? I don't remember. But yeah, we have his yellow version set. Um, I completed Jong-An in this haul, so I'm very, very excited. I will say I do have a lot of like 17 photo cards in this haul. However, I'm still not complete with my Wonu or my Jong-An collections. I only need one more Jong-An photo card to complete Face the Sun. And then I have like, <laughs> I need two full album sets for Wonu. Like Wonu is very expensive these days, so. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I have not had a really, oh, she's so cute. I have not had a really good big haul in so long. So what we have here is, this is Jiwon's first Midnight Guest Yijiu photo card. Um, so I do have a Yijiu set that I was working on, um, which I worked on in this haul. So this is, oh my goodness, this is probably one of my absolute favorite favorite Jiwon cards now. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cute. This is so much fun. <gasps> e and speaking of, so we have another Midnight Guest Yijiu card. I actually bought these from the same seller, but Baiyi doesn't let you combine orders. So the packaging was the exact same. That's the seller was probably like, damn, why are they like shipping it to the same exact person? Like, why don't you just buy in bulk? But we have Nakyung's card of this set as well. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. I just noticed a little bunny in the corner. I never noticed that before. Oh my god, that is so cute. And these cards are really nice. They're like thick. <gasps> Yay! Why does this look like the same packaging? <laughs> I wonder if this is the same seller. I don't know. I don't think it is. All right, so we have a Wanu Face the Sun card. This is from EP2. I'm so excited. Yeah, so I might start another buy haul pretty soon, but I know that Promise is set to have a comeback pretty soon. I feel it in my heart. It's coming. So... I don't think I can ball out like I did on this one because I fear for my life whenever Promise is having to come back. <laughs> but I need to finish Wanu. I just need to so badly. Eee! Jungan! Okay, so I think that this is just kind of like standard packaging for um, Japan. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So here we have another Jongan. I think this is also from EP2. From Face of Sun. Yes, EP2. So, yeah, I literally only have one Jongan card that I need to finish Face the Sun. So it's very annoying. Ah! Oh my god! So, um, speaking of like very impossible cards to find, um, speaking of like Jongan, this June card was, oh my goodness, insanely hard to find. Luckily, one time I was just, uh, I was just kind of browsing on Baiyi like late at night because sometimes I do that. Um, and I found it and someone had like literally just posted it for like a really good sale. This card goes for like insane prices on Mercari Japan. So we have June. Oh, it is a little bit bent, but honestly, when it's in the sleeve and in the binder, I won't notice. So we have 
EP3. This was actually the last card that I needed to complete June for Face the Sun, so uh, so excited. This one literally, okay, it's right there. This one literally was not sent with any packaging, so we love that. It arrived safely though. I think Japan definitely takes better care of their mail than the US does, but this is a Wanu set. So we have the two cards remaining that I needed to complete Wanu's Face the Sun carrot version. So very, very cute. So slay. Literally, I was searching for like a couple days for a set that had these two exact cards because I didn't want to pay like the same price twice. And finally, I found a seller who sold both of them. So I was very excited. This one also looks like there's literally no packaging in here. Damn, these sellers are really just shipping Wanu like naked. <laughs> they at least gave him a sleeve, at least that much. So we have the Horanghe EP1. <sighs> Face the sun, Wanu card. Very, very exciting. The only cards that I am missing for Wanu are the EP5 cards and the EP3 cards, I think. I literally, I haven't been able to pull them. I haven't been able to trade them. Like he is so insanely expensive for Face the Sun onwards. It's crazy. Why is my bias line so expensive? <laughs> All right, so we have, ee, we have, this is the last Jongan card that I needed for Face the Sun Carrot. So very cute, very exciting, very slay. Oh my goodness, just look at all these cards. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited. So they left us a little note. I'm sure it says like, thank you for your purchase and please leave me a review. Ah! 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 He's so cute! Yay! So we have this Wanu card. Face the Sun EP4. I put in a lot of work on my 17 collections for this. You can't even see that. Anyway. Ooh, this one is heavy, which I am pretty sure know what's in here. Okay, so I also did order a couple of albums as well, so we'll see what this is. <laughs> so I put in a lot of work into my Seventeen Japan discography, so obviously Seventeen like just had a Japanese comeback. It was like, it's been like a while now, but when I first started this haul, it had like just come out. So I have Seventeen's Dream. I don't exactly know which version this is, um, but does it say on here? So this is Limited B. They put the sleeve upside down, but I like buying them with the sleeve if I can. Um, I am sure that there are some unboxings on YouTube, so I'm not gonna go through it, but I will say, ah, he's so cute. Yeah, so this is the Limited B photo card. Oh, the back is kind of plain. That's okay. Look how cute he is with this little tennis ball. Oh my goodness. Love him. Love him so much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Slay. Look at them. They look so cool. They look like they go to like a private sports school. <laughs> oh, I love... I honestly... The one thing I will say is I love how like consistent the packaging for Seventeen's Japanese albums is. We love it. Also, Darlene Holiday version, very cute, very slay. And this one also feels very thick. It's another version of Dream, probably the same seller, TBH. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like the same seller, um, but limited A version, put it upside down. I remember one time I like did a unboxing of Seventeen's um, Japanese album. Eee, this one they put in a sleeve, so that's very nice. Limited. This one. Oh wait, is this? Oh, this is limited D? Question mark. I'm confused. I have limited D photo card, but limited A photo book. 
Who knows? But look how cute they are. I remember one time I did like an unboxing of Seventeen's Japanese album. I forget which one. I think it was Fallen Flower. But I, uh, I said like, oh, like, look at these albums. You know, they're all sealed. And then I... <laughs> I, but I bought them from like Mercari Japan <laughs> and they all had June's photo cards. So I was like, oh my God, my June look is so good. Just kidding. I bought all of these. <gasps> he's so, <laughs> he's so slay. Oh my goodness. I can't open these. So cute. So this one is very exciting. I know I say that to all of my packages, <laughs> um, but it is, it's very, very exciting. So as you can see, we have an ATs card. Why do we have an ATs card? Surprise, I'm collecting ATs. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so kidding. Um, I ordered some stuff with my friend who lives like really close to me. And so she collects ATs and she wanted me to get some ATs cards. So in this haul, it's not all my stuff. There are some ATs things in here as well for my friend. It's not me. I'm not collecting ATs. I like swore off collecting any other groups. <laughs> so yeah, but very cute. Ah, yay! So this is the last Yijiu card. So, um, like I already said, I was working on Promises Yijiu set, the only set that I'm like going to be collecting, unless they do more filter cards, maybe in the future. <laughs> but um, this is Serom, and so with Serom, Jiwon, and Nakyung, I have completed OT9 for this set. Yay! Oh my goodness, gorgeous. I don't know if there's a filter on this card. Maybe it's just like her cheeks are very pink. It's another 17 album. So this one is the jewel case. Um, probably the regular edition. I think this is the regular version. Okay, so photo cards are in this little package that they gave us. This is so cute. <laughs> little Tokyo Disneyland pass is it a oh cute cute everything's so cute flowers in full bloom sounds a blessing so cute i might reuse that so here this is yeah this is the regular edition photo card for dream and then i think that this is a weaver's pob i think that this is a weaver's japan pob which like i don't collect pre-order benefits anymore for 17 so I don't know but it's cute it's pink I like it it's a little bit see-through but it's very cute it's an 80s card I think that it's a pop I don't know my friend honestly she just collects on vibes she doesn't really like have a template or anything she just like looks at cards and sees which ones are cute okay yeah this one's make star cute how I would love to just collect based on vibes but I can't do that this is another 80s card I love these hauls because I get so many top loaders and then I don't have to buy top loaders for like forever. Oh, I accidentally took it out of the sleeve. Um, but this is an 80s card again. I think it's a Japan card, I want to say. I think this is from their Japanese album. But yeah, she kind of just collects like San, Wuyang, sometimes Songhua if she can get them. But he's pretty expensive, I know that much. Yay! This is my Jungan card. Ooh, this is weird. I don't know if I would qualify this as a top loader. I guess. Very strange. Um, but this is this is Jungan's Digipack card, I'm pretty sure. Oh, those look so similar. Oh my goodness. But this is his Digipack Sector 17 card. So cute. So I have Jongan complete. I have Wanu complete, I think. This is another Sector 17 card. 
there's, or not Sector 17, this is Face the Sun. There's a little note with a Kuropi note on it, very cute. And this is Jungan from EP2. So pretty sure this completes EP2 for Jungan. Okay, so this one has like a story that goes along with it. So um, ever since I've been like, ever since I was little, I've always been obsessed with um, watching Fukubukuro videos like from Japan. Um, like during the new year, they always have these uh, lucky bags basically where you can buy a bag from a store. And um, in that bag, it'll have like random items that didn't sell well throughout the year. And every year Sanrio does one for Japan. Well, they do like multiple different like tier levels and I really wanted the bag from this year. So <laughs> I uh, I watched YouTube videos about the Fukubukuro lucky bags and I really wanted this bag. So I went on Mercari Japan and I found it. <laughs> it was only like $8. Trying not to mess up the photo cards, but it is absolutely so cute. Just look how cute this bag is. It says Sanrio characters being together warms the heart. It has these two pockets in the front so you can put like your phone there or your water bottle there. It is just so cute. The color scheme is absolutely adorable. I love that it has pom pom and cinema roll and chromey, my melody, hello kitty. It's just so cute. Those are it's just so cute and it has these little, oh, I didn't even notice it had these little keychain holders on both sides and it's a tote bag originally, but you can have, you can use it as like a side bag, which I'm probably going to do. It's just the cutest bag ever. I was so excited. <laughs> so yeah, it's not K-pop related, but it's Sanrio. So I just thought I would show you guys. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. This one's very, very heavy. Okay, so these are 80s albums for my friend again, and I'm not saying like for my friend as in like for my friend me, like this is legitimately for my actual in real life friend. What? Emma has friends? Yeah. So, I don't know why. Okay, so. Who is that? Is that San? Okay, that's San. I don't know if it comes with photo cards. I really doubt it. I think she only bought this for like 300 yen or something, so. And then this one is Songhua. Cute. Not gonna go through it. So this is San. Pretty sure. Cute. It is a make star pob. Very, very cute. Yet again, another 80s card. And I'm pretty sure this is another pob as well. So I think that this is make star. Yeah, it says make star on the back. So make star, hollow, very cute, very, very cute from Fever. Which Fever? I have no idea. I think this is also 80s. We're getting into an 80s haul. I thought this was bigger than it than it is. It's uh it's called Season Season Songs Kim Jong Kook X 80s. I think it's like a like a little Oh, it's a, it's a cassette. <laughs> I don't think she knew that it was a cassette when she bought it. I don't know how to open it. Oh, there we go. That's funny. Oh, wait. Oh, that's so cool. That's cool. Ta-da. I'll put that right there. I always wonder that, why they put them in these green envelopes. Wow. <laughs> we are on an 80s roll. Pretty sure this is another Make Star. It is indeed a make star. Zero fever epilogue. Cute. He does this face a lot, I've noticed. Very cute. <laughs> More 80s. 
I think her main bias, so she just recently got into K-pop. She was a very big, like, anime person. She collects a lot of manga and stuff, but um, she just got into K-pop. Her ults, I think, are Stray Kids and ATs, but, like, mainly ATs, I would say. So, ta-da! I think this is, yeah, a Tower Records pop from their Japanese album cute. I don't know exactly her bias. I think I think her main bias is Wu Young. Hmm, this is this is packaged strange. <gasps> ah, yes. So exciting. So these are um these are venue exclusive dream pobs, I'm pretty sure. So they are from uh I think it says on the back. Tokyo Dome and Kyocera Dome. Um, I know that there is one more of these, but I only bought these because um, Seventeen's new Japanese album only has like seven cards, or it has seven cards. So for my six pocket binder, it'll fill up one page, but then there will be an extra. But I have three extra spots from their last. Um, album Japanese album so I'm just I bought these to fill up the spots and also they look so cute his hair looks so good here he's in his music video outfits I just love these so much I think they're a little bit bigger than the regular album cards they seem a little bigger ah, yay oh my goodness so here we have two Jong'an cards that I needed really desperately. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. Here. Ah, this rose card. This rose card was giving me so much trouble trying to find it. And I found it in a bundle with this card, which I also needed, which was so slay. Um, but yeah, so we have the little rose card from EP3. And this little, I think it's a like finger gun kind of card from EP5. This is definitely another album. It is, it's another dream album. Like I said, uh, I completed my dream album set in here. So there's quite a bit of albums. Is this the same one? No. Oh, okay. So this is the flash price. Maybe it's like a cheaper version of the album to purchase. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so not gonna open it because I'm pretty sure that they've just put the photo card right here. So we'll just open this. Ah, look how cute this card is. It's a Catboy June card. This is everything to me. I love him. He's my favorite person ever. This one I think is another, oh, I think this is the limited album. Yay, it is. This is the Limited Carrot album. Yay! This is so cute. And it seems like photo card is inside. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, yay! We got Bubble June. Y'all, we have Bubble June. He's so cute. Oh, the back of this card is really pretty. I love Bubble June. I do want to look at this photo book because it is just so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. Sung Kwan. I'm so excited for the Busok soon comeback. I think I'm going to collect like all of the photo cards, even though none of them are my biases. I want them all. Next one also I think is an album, but is it my album or is it, <gasps> is it my friend's album? It's my album. <laughs> eee, I'm so excited for this. I hope you like it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We have the best version of dream the absolute best version of dream this is dream version c with june's photo card oh my god oh my goodness 
Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going ham. Um, look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, so cute. And then literally this is the best photo book that they have ever done. Like I'm so ready. It is just so supreme in every single way. Oh, thing out with pink hair. Pussy. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Where's where's troll? Ah, so cute. We are getting down to the end. We have four packages left. This is an 80s album. Pretty sure that it's just the album, but I'll check just to see. Oh, it's very thick. Is there anything in here? Nope. Just pretty boys. Yay! Okay, um, this one is limited A, so I think that's why we had limited A album with limited D card, is because I bought the limited A card separately. How do people even get these in here? Okay, so this is June's limited A dream card. Oh, we actually have way more packages. It looked like we only had four. Yay! We have June's uh, Sector 17 photo book PCs and his sticker, but I don't really collect stickers. So we have his sticker. Cute. I love this outfit though. I would literally do anything to own this shirt because it's my two favorite colors, but... Here are his two album cards from, again, I don't know the name of this album version. <laughs> it's the yellow version, y'all. You know this. That could have been bad. more 80s cards so i think that these are also from the paradigm album so here is this card cute and this card cute yay okay so we kind of I think that we've reached like the end of like all the photo cards I'm pretty sure but what we have in the rest of this package so I think Sanrio Japan created these like photo card sleeves um which are literally so cute so I bought like a big bulk pack of them it has quite a bunch of characters and honestly I want more of these sleeves. They are so cute. I'll show you them. So they're like hollow sleeves with these little borders on them. And when you put a photo card in, let's see. Choose this June. No, let's choose this June. So. So each character has like four of the same design. So when you put a card in, it just looks so cute. Look how cute that is. Oh my god. I originally was just gonna get Pom Pom Purin's um, set, but I bought like, I found like a really good set. This was like maybe $6 for all of these, so of course I bought all of them. Look how cute they are. I'll go through all of the designs. This one is so cute. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some of these on, um, I have these like acrylic Polaroid display stands, and I really want to display my Adora Polaroids, so I'm gonna use these and like kind of make them look really cute. This is a Karomi one. This is another Karomi. Cinema roll. Cinema roll. Cinema roll and cinema roll, which are so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm just so obsessed with these. They're so, so cute. 
And then this is the last item in this haul. Yay! So here, yeah, we pretty much reached the end of the photo cards, but we have another photo card accessory. So these are actually from Daiso Korea, but I bought them on Mercari Japan because I didn't want to use my Korean proxy to get these because I don't have anything at their warehouse. But I love Care Bears, obviously. I love Care Bears. I love Sanrio. I'm basic. I don't care. But these are so cute. They're little photo card holders and they are Care Bear photo card holders. They're just so cute. I think one is Fun Shine Bear and I forget what the other one is. But they're just so cute. I had to buy them. There's a third one, but it's green and green is not really a color that I like. So. So I can't really fit the albums on screen, and I think that this is like a decent end shot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. But thank you so much for watching this Baiyi haul. I am very, very happy about having all of these items. I love this service. Now that Baiyi has like reduced the fees and everything, I'll definitely be using it a lot more, which I think was their purpose for reducing the fees, is to get everyone to come back. But... Uh, <laughs> I just, I really like their service. I think that they're very quick and speedy at buying things. Again, this is not sponsored, but buy if you would like to. We can talk. So in the future, hopefully we'll see some more buy hauls. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I love, I love getting mail like this. This is so exciting. I will see you in my next video, which I think will be from his light stick unboxing. Ah! Anyway, goodbye. Love you guys. Bye.